What's going on everybody, C4 here, and today we're going to talk about features I want to see in Madden 19. My Madden 19 wish list, if you will. I'm not going to go super in-depth into some crazy things that we've never seen before. I mean, we, you know, there might be a podcast or something like that, you know, off to the side that might happen eventually that we can go a little bit more in-depth. But right now I'm going with the big features that I think could save the Madden franchise, but which is, let's be honest, kind of on life support right now. But we've been told by Rex who's, you know, the, the big head guy there at uh, Madden, that all franchise modes, the most played modes, the most popular mode, and we're, we're going to hook you guys up come next year. I mean, it's kind of the same old song and dance that we hear every year because, you know, they want to try to sell the game because right now a lot of people, myself included, are incredibly frustrated with the state of franchise mode. It's nowhere near where it should be. Uh, the Madden 18 franchise mode in particular uh, was very, very bland, very, the worst franchise mode I've said, because it's recency bias, I, I can admit that, but it's probably one of the worst franchise modes in the last decade, in my opinion. So, what they could do, the biggest thing, like, we're thinking small picture, like I said, I could come up with a bunch of ideas that we've never seen before in Madden, that could truly innovate it, but I mean, that's kind of putting a lot of onus on, on uh, EA and Madden to develop something that we've never seen before. We don't need them to reinvent the wheel, they just need to go back into... You know, the EA bubble. Things that have been done before and implemented into franchise mode. And the first thing that we're going to talk about here today, this is going to be a couple video series, is the coaching carousel. So we're setting it up here. Obviously, Florida Gator butt. All this stuff. Um, but coaching carousel, more importantly, was in the mode NCAA 14. Now, I know a bunch of you guys watched this video have played this, but I also know there's a decent amount of you guys that have never heard of coaching carousel, but it's something that you've seen brought up for a lot of re you know recommended and requested features that people want to see in connected franchise mode. You might say, what is this? The well, coaching carousel was a mode here in NCAA 14, and it is probably the best thing, realistic thing, that could be implemented into Madden 19 franchise mode to really make it that much special. What made for, what made it special was, right now, when you play Madden, it's been the same bland, redundant, you start as a player, you start as a coach, you start as an owner. Those are the three things. I don't know how many years it's been like that, it feels like it's been forever. Those are the three options, and that's been played out. There's only so much you could do with those three options, and they're, it's so vanilla, it's so bland, it's so easy. There's not a lot of replayability. There's a reason why even me, someone that makes a living playing this game, gets so bored of franchise mode after like two years. That is unacceptable. Franchise mode, in reality, if you're you know, a glutton for punishment in some cases, you should be able to play franchise mode from day one when you get the game, and it should last you till the next years of Madden. And even me, I start my Philadelphia Eagles connected franchise mode on day one, and I, I get three, four years in, 40 some episodes on YouTube in, and I'm done. I, I can't make it entertaining anymore. I've done everything because it's, it's just too easy. But adding in the coaching carousel could drastically change it. So what the coaching carousel is right now in Madden, you basically get to pick the head coach of whatever team you want. And you can do that here. You can still do that here in NCAA. But you also have the option to be the offensive or defensive coordinator. And back in the day in Madden, you used to be able to have this kind of a coaching tree a little bit. Wasn't nearly as in-depth as NCAA. But for example, if I'm the Philadelphia Eagles, Brian Dawkins retires. About a year after that, I can look in the offseason to hire Brian Dawkins as an eventual defensive coordinator for my team. And then you could probably make him the head coach if you really wanted to. But, it, you know, having coordinators is a feature that has been in Madden in the past. And then they just decide just to remove it. And right to have right now is incredibly bland because it's just your head coach with his schemes. But what you could do, and I'll give you an example here, I'm going to go through all the motions, is I could say, all right, well, I want I want to grind, man. I want the path of being a coach to be a big-time feature. So that way there, you know, you could be, I'm going to be the DC. In NCAA games, I was always better at defense than offense. So I want to be the defensive coordinator here of the Florida Gators. Now, what this entails is a grind. It is an absolute grind. It is not just, you know... It's, it's very similar, I guess, to the career mode, right? You start your way up. Low, I mean, DC is still a pretty decent job. They get paid great money. But I'm going to start out here as the DC. C4 is my daddy. He's now the defensive coordinator of the Florida Gators. And what you do as your DC is you have a skill tree. Welcome to your coach skill tree. Here, you can select skill upgrades that will benefit your coach on the field and uh, recruiting prospects, which, I mean, we don't need that in Madden. But, I mean, you could translate the Madden to scouting. It can make scouting a lot more difficult, which is exactly what it needs to be. Uh, be sure to go to Coach Skill Trees inside Coach Central each time you level up. So we have head coach there. You know, this is stuff that you don't need to worry about yet. Because we're starting out as a DC. So this is my coach tree. Right now in Madden, your XP boosts are incredibly vanilla, incredibly bland. Literally 70% of them you never get to use. Like, who's going to use, like, the re-signed punting 
uh, resign your punter influence or anything like that. That's stupid. Everyone just uses the XP boost and the scouting boost. That's pretty. Maybe you might go into free agency negotiations. For the most part, you don't need it. But here in NCAA, when you do the coaching carousel, a coaching tree is pretty vital to adding a coaching carousel. And look, you look at these things, man. You get plus one to block shedding. You can eventually upgrade it three times to get plus three for block shedding. You can include your power moves, finesse moves, injury, uh, coverage. Uh, individual coverage, catching, hit power, speed, just making them better athletes and being a lot more aware. So how this would work is basically as you, you know, hit certain thresholds and, and hit certain milestones for your DC, you upgrade them, you level them up, and you can basically build up and fill out this whole coaching tree. And then eventually, you, once you have all these, you can become a head coach. And when you become a head coach, you bring these with you. You already have all these defensive upgrades. And then you can start working on your other tree fruit. So it's just, it's growing as a head coach. It's exactly what you want when you decide you want to select the coach in franchise mode. You don't just want this thing where it's like, all right, after literally two years, I can have everything I want. Doesn't even matter if I'm gone, you know, five and 11 both years. In Madden, you can buy all the XP packages that you need by that time. Here, five years, five, six years, something like that, you have to like, five, six years, you're done in Madden. Five, six years in NCAA, you're just getting your feet underneath you. So, uh, you know, after I already have my defense I've built up because I'm a defensive base coach, then I can start getting stuff like this. Scrambled play art for coach camp. That was an awesome feature in NCAA that you should bring back. Um, I used to kicker doesn't work. How awesome would that be in Madden? No more stupid screens when you're trying to kick a game winning field goal. Set up plays here, you get mismatches, you get rivalry games, you get chemistry boosts. You get penalty boost. You get just hot. This well, you don't need to go over this feature. This feature wasn't that great. But ultimately, man, it's just things that help you mold the team the way you want to. Because right now in Madden, it is so vanilla. It's so boring. That's why everyone just gets sick and tired of the game every single year. So if I want to start out, let's just say I'm starting out as defensive coordinator, right? This, this is not an NCAA anymore. Playing Madden. I want to start out as the DC of I can't get a job. Maybe you, you come in. Um, I don't know if you want to say you, you do a questionnaire kind of thing, but you know maybe you have a couple things that you know you start out as your basics for your coach, and maybe you want to start out as a Philadelphia Eagles DC, right? But you're not good enough. They're not looking for it, so you might have to start somewhere else. You might have to start as a Cleveland Browns defensive coordinator, right? And that's a big challenge. The Browns are a shitty team, so where you know where you think you might only have to be a DC for a year or two because you're with the Browns, it might take three to four years as a DC growing up your skill tree until you get that head coaching offer and that there look you're already four years into your franchise when was the last time any of you played your actual Madden franchise mode four years you know what I'm saying so what we're gonna do here is show you just what happens for the second part of the coaching carousel when you're looking to upgrade your job let's get into that so after I coached my rear off for one season as the DC they said hey you can either get an extension with the Gators, stay there as a DC and continue to really, I guess if you want to stay and you really want to make it truly realistic, at least it gives you the option to stay there and you can't just jet your way to a coaching job. You can stay here as the DC, view the contract, and you'll be able to continue to grow and develop your skill tree so that, you know, maybe you're, you know, I can't remember and can't attest to it, you might earn extra XP as your um, developing as a DC versus a head coach. I don't know, that's probably not the case. But if you really want to build up your coaching tree, you can stay there. But also you get the option to explore other options in the coaching carousel, the lovely coaching carousel. So look at this, now hiring. I straight up can just now unexpected jobs, fill positions. So I right now there's a head coach. This is a pretty, bi pretty big jump. And it's not always this. If I was really wanting to start and grind my way up, I would have started with like a one or two star school. But let's just act like, you know, we didn't go. I think we went 6-6. Six six. We won our bowl game. But let's just say, you know, we were dominant. Alabama, we won that national championship. Now, David Shaw, for all intents and purposes, he's heading to the NFL. And Cal has, I don't know who the hell's Cal coach is, uh, Sony Dykes. There's already a couple rumored candidates there. But what you can do is I can go right here and just go view this contract. Like, okay. Okay, that's what David Shaw did. All right, I want to throw my hat into the mix. And you just go, boom. And you now you now you look at this one. You got uh, BYU. I want to go there. I want to go there. I want to see some contracts. What kind of jobs? Look at all these jobs. You can, you know you might not get it. You might have to res, you know resort back to um, you know going back to the DC. Hey, you know you might have to go back with your tail between legs. But at least you're trying. You know what I'm saying? Unexpected jobs. Arkansas State. What's this? What's my contract looking like? Get me out of this. 
But th look, this here, this is the way that it should work. Kentucky, you keep going through this. Eventually, you'll try to be able to get your head coaching job. So this is what you need. This is how it should work in Madden. If I want to start out, let's just for the Eagles. The Eagles are a simple team to bring it to. If I want to start out with the Philadelphia Eagles as a defensive coordinator, take over for Jim Schwartz. We're there for a couple years. We Let's just act like we won the Super Bowl. Everyone's going to want to hire you. Everyone left, right, and center is going to want to hire you. And then I want to have the decision to be able to grow and become the head coach and start on that journey. Or I want to be able to stay as a DC, develop my coaching tree, get all the perks that a good head coach should bring to the table. You know, when you hire a DC, or when you hire a head coach in Madden, even this, to their credit, they still have head coaches that have special things. Sometimes you can hire a head coach out of the blue uh, that has already expert scouting and just stuff like that. But, like, that's how you would get to that point where the coaching carousel is by saying, no, I'm not going to go for the easy promotion. I'm not going to necessarily pull a Josh McDaniels and back out of my job, but I'm going to kind of stay here. Even though I could get jobs, I want to grow so that when I do get that head coaching job, I can focus because now I have the head coaching uh, XP trio unlocked. I can now focus just buying on that because I stayed long enough as a DC to pretty much get every perk that a defensive coach would get from their DC coaching tree. You know what I'm saying? So it's just growing your player. And it's your player coach. It's growing your coach. And it would just be the best thing, I think, for Madden. That, it's the easiest thing because it's already there. You're not reinventing the wheel. You're just looking in that bag of scraps that's collecting dust underneath the table. You're just ripping that out, and you're attaching it back onto franchise mode. And that's all we really can ask for, man. And um, I think that this is probably the most popular feature that people are asking for. And it's definitely, I think, would be the most realistic and drastic change that they could make to franchise mode right now i mean you have you know you can add more expansion teams you know, more relocation franchises i mean that takes a little bit of time because you have to basically create a whole team new logos new uh jersey combinations even though i'm sure like we're talking about here where you just go back to the well you dig out what you used to have and put it back in they probably could go find old teams and old jerseys and old cities from previous maddens and just update it a little bit um but when you look at all the new features that could be added to madden Things like draft classes, which we'll talk about, that's that's fairly simple. That's more so of a, it's kind of coming on the community to be able to make that thrive and make that work. It's more so, it kind of feels like for custom draft classes, it's more Madden, more so flicking a switch on and just enabling it. But this year, for a new feature that could bring new life is what I think should happen. Top priority, add the coaching carousel. So that does it for me here today, guys. Let me know what you think about this feature. Do you think that it's about damn time that they bring the coaching carousel back into the Madden realm? Let me know in the comment section below. As always, subscribe if you're new. We got plenty of Madden content, plenty of draft content coming up, so you're not going to want to miss that. And until next time, it's C4. Say in peace. Out.